Hey everybody, Patty Ann here, welcome. Hey, today I'm gonna to show you how to use your Cameo 4 with your foil quill. I have this foil quill that I bought and I've also used it already with my Cameo 3, but now we use a different technique a little bit to use it with Cameo 4. So I'm gonna show you how to do that because someone in our Facebook group, Cutting Up With Patty Ann, had asked about how to do this. So, child, this one's for you. Let me move this out of our way for right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. So here I have my Cameo 4, and I already have some cardstock put down on my mat. I like to have my cardstock down at the lower bottom left hand corner like this to make it work. We also need to have our quill that looks like this. I'm going to use the medium size one. And in addition to that, in the package, you get all of these little adapters. The one that we'll use for the Cameo 4 is the letter D, as in David, the D adapter. So I'm simply going to put these others away, and I'll take the D adapter, and I'm just going to screw this foil quill right into it, okay, just like that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use an auxiliary um, heat source or a power source, I should say, uh, instead of plugging it right into my machine. So I'm going to plug this in here and you'll notice that this light is going to light up, which means it's warming up. You see that? It's warming up. So before it gets warmed up, I am going to take it over here to my machine. Let's see if I can zoom in for you a little bit. There we go. All right, so I'm going to take out my auto blade. Let's pull this out take it out. I like to put it in a little holding container here. Then I'm going to take this one and I'm just going to pop it down in here till it clicks just like that and push this in. And that's perfect. That's all I have to do. So that's warming up, ready to go. I'm going to put my auxiliary uh, power source behind my machine making sure that the wire stays out of the way. And while that's heating up, I'll show you what else we need to do. So I'm gonna get some foil. We get a lot of foil that comes with uh, the kit. And I'll have a link to the kit below if you'd like to see what is involved with it. And I'm just gonna cut off a piece of it. You get about three rolls, I think it is, with the kit. And they last for quite a long time, actually. So I'm just going to go ahead and tape this near the bottom. Now you want to make sure that your foil doesn't touch your mat because it would mess up your mat a little bit if it did. So I'm going to tape this on here, trying not to have wrinkles in it. I'll just start. And I'm using washi tape. Any washi tape would work or if you have a, a like a light painter's tape that won't ruin your cardstock, that would be fine. So again, what you want to do, and let me scroll back out. There we go, whoops. So what you're wanting to do is to take this and roll it out so there aren't any wrinkles in it. And then maybe start at the top and just go ahead and go down like that. And then I always put another piece across the top. And if I don't have any more of this wide kind, you can if you have skinny washi tape, that will work also. So I could take a piece of the skinnier washi tape. I can get it started, there we go. And maybe put a little tiny piece, or put a piece across the bottom here. Just to hold this down so it doesn't wiggle too much. There we go. So that's ready. So now all I'm gonna do is gonna put this in my machine. All I do is line it up with these little dots right here. And then I press the arrow over here on the right that you can't see, but it's there. Make sure my wire's out of the way. So now I'm going to have you come up and look at my screen to see what we're going to do today. Let's see, here it is. And by the way, the thing that I'm using for today's sample, I have in my library, it's right here. If I click on this little area right here, it shows you where I got it. It's called Wedding Rings, and it's is design number 301425. And I can put a link down below for you if you'd like. I double clicked on wedding ring to open it and now I'm in the design area. 
So I resized it, and the other thing that I did was I drew a circle and put it around it because I want this to be sort of like a sticker. And you know, I could draw the circle a lot bigger and put names in here maybe, and a, a date, something like that. You know, that'd be fun, wouldn't it, to put, make some stickers or something like that. I'm just gonna leave it like this for right now. So my quill is heating up over there, so let's go over here to send now and see what it's gonna look like on the send panel. Okay, here we are in the send panel, and you'll see I'm in the line area, and there are three different areas. The punch marks we're not going to use at all. We are going to use these two up here, but right now I'm going to uncheck them. So what I need to use will be in tool number one for both things. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch or foil the rings. So let's click on this one and let's see what it is. Okay, so that definitely got the rings, so I know that's what I'm going to foil. So I need to come up here, I'll leave this on cardstock plain, or maybe I'll do cardstock, I use, oftentimes I like to use heavy. And I'm going to change the action from cut to sketch. So if you look down here, it has cardstock, textured, sketch, and the tool. Okay, and I like to have my force to be about 16 or 13, and my speed, I like it way down when I'm doing the foiling. I like it around three, so I'm going to leave that like that. And then if I uncheck this, let's see what this next one's going to be when I check it. Okay, it's the circle that's going to cut around the rings. So again, I'm going to change this to cardstock, textured heavy and right now I'm going to have it do no action for right now like that. So I'm just going to leave it like this. So let's go over to um, send it and see what happens now but wait we need to uncheck this one and check this one because this is all we want to happen first. So let's send this and let's get started. And let's go back over to my machine and see what's happening. Okay, since we did not tell it to do anything with the second item up here on my desktop, it has not taken my um, mat out, and nor do I want to. All I want to do right now is to remove the foil. So let's look back here. I'm going to take the foil off, and it will reveal what's been foiled underneath. And I got a little close over here to my tape, so hopefully I got the whole thing. I did, yippee. <laughs> so I can take all this foil off, and that's why it's nice to have this down near the bottom, because it's easy to work down here to take the foil off. Oops keep my washi tape intact so I can use it again. So now I'm going to do the part that's going to draw or cut the circle out around my wedding rings. So let's go back up to my machine. And this time I'm going to uncheck the rings and I'm going to check the outer ring, the circle around it, and it's on cardstock. I'm going to make it cardstock mm, heavy. Let's see, a lot of times I like to use the cardstock textured heavy. I'm going to use that and the action is going to be I'm going to have it cut. So let's look down here. Oh, but look, we don't have the proper tool in there right now. Right now I still have my um, quill tool in there, my foil tool. So what I need to do is come back over here, remove my foil quill, just pull this out take this off and now I can take this out of here if I want to. My letter D, put that away with the others. Get my power source and unplug this so it'll begin cooling off and then just move it over to the side. And now what I need to do is I've always saved my cutting tool in here. So I'm going to do this push that in. This is my auto blade. Click it into place. And now the only thing left to do 
is to come back up here to my computer. The only thing checked is the circle around it, cardstock cut, auto blade, ready to go. I like to make my uh, knife depth a little bit deeper. And so I'm going to say send. Is finished and it has cut a perfect circle around the wedding rings that I foiled. So just as a recap, for your Cameo 4 you will use the D, the letter D, can you see that the letter D, into this whatever size quill you want to use. And then you will stick this into tool number one area over here, taking out your blade, putting it in this little carrying place. Put this in here. Again, push it down all the way so that it clicks and you can click that right into place. Plug this into some auxiliary um, power. Let that heat up for five minutes and then come up to your computer and do like I had done before. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know. I'd be glad to try to answer them. Leave them in the comments below. Thanks again. Bye-bye.